Well, it all comes down to Saturday for Crestview Hoops. The Knights are one win away from a Division IV state championship and a perfect season. Jeremy Best's top-ranked team defeated number two New Madison Tri-Village 54-50 in Thursday's semifinal, despite trailing 24-19 at the half. Halftime adjustments and a dominant third quarter helped Crestview notch its 28th straight win. I just give a lot of credit for our kids for, for coming back in the second half and, 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 and accepting the challenge we put forth to them at halftime. He definitely lit a fire under our, uh, under our rear ends, and he, he knows how to motivate us. And uh, we came out that third quarter, got some turnovers, uh, got some high percentage shots, and uh, that ultimately led to us getting back in the game. After halftime, the difference was, was noticeable in our body language, in our purpose on the floor. And on the scoreboard as well, Crestview went on a 15-2 run to start the third and led 34-28 headed to the fourth. Senior Tyson Bowenball finished with a team high 15 points, 13 of which came in the second half. First shot I took, it didn't fall, and I think that kind of hurt me a little bit in the first half. I didn't think I had the confidence with me, but coach told me to stay engaged at halftime and all credit to my teammates for staying with me and they kept coming to me and once I saw it drop once, it just felt good. Etzler added 13 and Damian Helm was a perfect 10 for 10 from the line, but it wasn't just the offense that picked up. We did a good job of, of making them catch the ball in different spots or, or just putting enough pressure where you, you throw their timing off. That paid dividends. I think they ended up with 15 turnovers and, and every one of them was huge. Now with just one more win, the program can capture its first state title. And like it has been all year, defense is the key to victory. That's something that we hang our hat on. It's a huge reason why we are where we are at this point in the season, and, and our kids know that. The Knights will take on St. Thomas Aquinas, who defeated Winchester Harvest Prep by 13 in their semifinal. And given the stakes, it's not lost on anyone that this type of opportunity doesn't come around very often. In 03, we were blessed and fortunate to, to be in this situation. You know, so, so our program has been here before, and it's, it's time we want to take that next step. We've went by the model this entire year is play 29, and coach said it was a long way away, but it'd be, it'd be here like that. And I mean, Saturday, 1.30, we're going to be, we're going to be there. Although it's been 11 years for basketball, the baseball team's trip to state last spring has prepared some of the multi-sport athletes for the big stage. Obviously, when we went there in baseball, we came up a little short, so uh, that burn in our bellies definitely still there. Um, playing in front of these great fans, I mean, you wouldn't want to play with any other guys. We're a band of brothers, seven seniors, this would be the note to go out on. With Crestview, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.